Alright, so today I just wanted to talk a bit about how to get uh, your desktop back on um, onto RetroPie, so like the LXDE, LXDE interface. Um, so starting with version 2.4, Petrock blog removed it from the image just to conserve space since it does take up a lot of space. It's like 300 something megabytes. Um, anyways, so you might be trying to type in star x and it might not work because it's not there anymore. So um, I'll show you how to get that back because um, some people like the desktop interface. So you just type in sudo um, sudo apt get install um, lxde. You just press enter and read it through. I've already got it installed so um, it just shows it there but um, it'll ask if you want to install like 370 megabytes or something and then just type a Y and press enter and it will install it. Um, and then there's one more thing you might want to do if you don't want it to boot into LXDE on when it boots up. Or rather you'd want it probably to still go into RetroPie and then be able to use your desktop afterwards um, through pressing F4 or whatever out of emulation station. So. Um, I'll show you how to change that boot sequence back into um, the terminal. So uh, once you uh, get it started, uh, restarted and set up and whatever, you just go into sudo raspi config and then you go into um, enable boot and then you're going to go to text console. Um, yeah. And then just press enter and finish and then reboot so you'll reboot and i'll show you what it looks like all right so it's booted up into emulation station and so if i want to go into my desktop um by default i just press default or f4 and then um, you type in start x and then it'll open up into your desktop here and so you've got everything for lxde um, Anyway, so that's what it'll look like. And then um, I'm gonna log out and show you one more thing that you could do with it. Um, so I'm gonna go back into Emulation Station. Let it load up. So I've modified the RetroPie menu that's part of the most recent binary install. And I've added, um, goodness. So I've added LXDE desktop in here. So now I can open it from emulation station. So press that and it opens up into it. And then as soon as you log out again, it'll take you right back to emulation station. So it's a little more convenient than going back in the command line and typing emulation station back in and all that. So I'll show you how to configure that next um, if you like that functionality a little better. So we'll go to that next. Okay, if you want your desktop to be available through Emulation Station, there's two things you got to do. You got to first create a bash script um, to start um, your desktop, so the command start x in this case, and then you're going to tell Emulation Station um, where that bash script bash script is and create a title for the menu. So um, I'll show you how to go through that just through WinSCP. So we're going to locate our um, home pi, retro pi, retro pi menu. And of course, this is the most updated. So you're going to have to do a full binary install in order to get this menu. Um, otherwise, you won't have it by default in 2.6. So uh, retro pi menu. And so I've already added it as desktop.sh. But if you want to add it from here, you can just click files, new, new file. And then... Um, this is what it looks like. It's just two two simple lines. You put it in there, you save it, um, and then you're good to go for that. Um, and then, so now we've created the bash script called desktop.sh. Then we're going to go back into home pi, um, and then the dot emulation station, and then game lists. And then we're going to go down to our retro pi menu, and then game list.xml, right click and click edit. And then we're going to scroll all the way down to the bottom and we're just going to add this little section here. Well, I guess it's 
And, okay, right here. I added it to the bottom before, but I guess I alphabetized it. So, um, anyways, that's all you're gonna add. You don't need to worry about the play count or last play. That was just because I've opened it since then. Um, but yeah, you only need to add this little section at the bottom in there, and then you can save it on the game list. And then once you go back in, it'll be available in your menu. And so, and you can name this whatever you want. If you don't want to name it LXDE Desktop, you can name it Computer Desktop or I don't know Start X. Whatever you want it to be in the menu, um, and then that way when you select the menu, just like we did in that um, little earlier, um, it'll it'll work for you as well. So hopefully that will make your life a little easier, a little more convenient. Um, and you can really do this with pretty much any program um, instead of um, the Start X in your Bash script. You can have something else if you want a different program to open up. So some people will use that for Kodi or other things. So hopefully that's useful for you. Um, it's been made my life more convenient. So enjoy.